Hey there, I'm Tucker, this is D&D Daily, and today I wanted to continue our creative combat series by talking about a sandstorm combat. This is a type of combat that I recently went through as a player with my party in Sage's campaign, and I really liked it, and that's why I wanted to share it with you. So from my perspective as a player, what we were doing is we were traveling through a desert that we knew was a little bit dangerous, and we knew was also prone to these sandstorms. These sandstorms, when they would come up, would be massive, too big to fly over, too big to go around reasonably for an, our entire party. So really the only option is to go through them in order to get to your destination So at one point going through this desert We did encounter one of these sandstorms and we did end up just going through it And what was really great about this sandstorm is that it built this tension that we knew something was probably going to ambush us But we didn't know when we didn't know how we didn't know what was gonna happen So it really built up that tension and the way that sage capitalized on this tension was by throwing in a mob of Tlincali at us Which are a relatively low CR creature that were actually pretty terrifying in this circumstance. The reason that they were challenging in this circumstance is because Sage added that they have blind sight like their giant scorpion counterparts, which gave them the ability to see us, but we could not see them. And this is what made this combat really interesting. Their ability to see us allowed them to wrap us up in chains and drag us off into the sandstorm where the rest of our party couldn't see them because we only had a limited vision of about 10 feet. So them dragging us off one by one, separating us, made this a much tougher encounter. I could tell as a player that this was a tough encounter because the Tillincoli are a CR5 and we we're going up against maybe five of them, but we we're all level 10 characters. This should have been a way easy fight, but it was actually pretty challenging and made us really think. Overall, this combat was filled with tension. It was a great combat, really creative, really unique, and I really liked it. My two favorite things about this combat is first it really makes you think on your feet it makes you be creative it makes you try and come up with creative solutions because you have limited information if you're really playing it from your character's point of view the second thing i really like about this combat is it takes a lower cr creature that wouldn't be as threatening and turns it into a legitimate threat by just putting it in this environment that favors the enemies. If you want to recreate this type of combat in your campaign, there's two things you're gonna need. First, you need some natural phenomenon that really blocks out a player's sense of perception. So this could be a sandstorm in this case, but it could also be a big cloud of fog. It could be magical darkness. It could be heavy rain, a blizzard. It could be anything like this that's just gonna block their sight. The second thing you need is an enemy that can really take advantage of these situations. And those types of enemies have two things. First, they have a way to really break down the party quickly. So this could be doing a lot of damage with ambush tactics. It could be hit and run tactics where they go in, do a little bit of damage, and then dip back out, and then they just keep repeating that over and over and just whittling down your party. And the third thing it could be is that they separate the party out. So they drag your party off in different directions and force instead of like a 5v5, they force five 1v1 battles. This is going to make this a lot harder for your party because they can't synergize, they can't work together. The second thing that these monsters need is a way to be able to perceive the party without the party perceiving them. So in the case of the Sandstorm, that was blind sight. However, a couple other options for this could be something like true sight, could be tremor sense, could be mist sense, the ability to sense people walking around in mist if you're in the mist as well or in the case of magical darkness it could be something like devil's sight these are going to be situations where these enemies can really excel because of your players limited senses and the tactics and abilities of these monsters it should raise their cr up quite significantly and make a low cr enemy a challenge for your party which could be very unexpected and this makes it so you can weave in more story-based enemies and make them challenging even though their CR says they shouldn't be that hard. This also makes a really tension-filled combat, which is awesome. And I want to add in a side note here that these types of combats can be used to really make your players shine. For example, if one of your players is a fighter that took up the blind fighting style, he's going to have 10 feet of blind sight, which is going to make it so he's not as, at as big of a disadvantage in these types of combats. If your warlock has devil's sight, maybe you do it in magical darkness so that that warlock gets to show off his cool ability even if he doesn't get to use it too often. Little things like that can not only make it a tension-filled combat that's fun for your players and interesting, but it can also make it so that one player can shine a little bit more brightly in that combat. This has been my thought on these sandstorm type combats. Tell me what you think in the comments below and let me know how you do it better than what I described. I would love to hear your opinions. My name is Tucker, this is D&D Daily, and we 
are going to release new videos every single day all about D&D. If you want to look at some of our other creative combat videos, make sure to check this link up here, and we will see you tomorrow. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you see our videos every single day.